Thank you, Jerry. In this morning's showbiz report, the new action thriller Endangered Species arrives in select theaters this weekend, and Manny the Movie Guy has a sneak peek. Tough guy, huh? Maybe not so tough. If I want a roller coaster, I'll take Six Flags. Lighten up. It's a vacation. We wanted an adventure. And I want to congratulate you, Mr. Philip, on endangered species. It's fun, exciting, and really, it's all for a great cause as well. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, it was a heck of an adventure, making a movie in the middle of a pandemic and flying to Kenya to do it with MJ Bassett. I, we, had a, we had a ball. Whoa. Heaven, Jack. I've landed in heaven. We are just outside of Ambicelli Park. Ambicelli. Noah is just a normal kid who just so happens to be gay, and uh, his family is mostly accepting, except for his father. He's got some, uh, you know, he doesn't quite understand it. I've been to Nairobi before. Uh, not, I mean, this Africa is different. I'm Jack Halsey was fun to play because he's, he's broken, right? He's complicated. And I think that's interesting to come from that place as an actor. Jack's got all these secrets that he's trying to keep under wraps. He's trying to get up get this family on a trip of a lifetime, just one more trip before it all blows apart. But unfortunately, it blows apart right at the beginning of the trip. What are you doing? Off-road adventure. Hey, Dad, oh, no. oh, oh. Oh, Look at the baby. Are you seeing? <gasps> I thought the movie will be an all-out man versus wild kind of film, a Jurassic Park kind of movie. We got that. We got some scenes like that, exciting. But we also got something more profound, the truth about illegal wildlife trade. Tell us more about that, Mr. Philip. This is part of a trilogy of films that we're, we're using action, we're using storytelling and drama, but we're using it to facilitate, you know, we're, we're using it as the vehicle to tell a deeper story. You know, in Rogue, we talked about the illegal hunting trade of lions and how ridiculous that is. And in this, we're talking about the, uh, you know, rhino horn trade and the ivory trade with elephants. Huh? It is going to be all right. It's not safe! What do you hope for viewers to get after watching the film? I just hope that the viewers can see, find a new appreciation for uh, how beautiful Africa can be. There's this sort of really profound moment where I thought, wow, we really are a part of this circle of life, this kind of chain of events that are happening around us. And I thought we could definitely take a, a few things from these animals, you know. A big congrats again. Pongeti, by the way, that's congratulations in Swahili. And Bahati Nujema, that's good luck. <laughs> oh, well, hey, I, I learned something. That's great.